Следующий спикер, человек, которого вы уже знаете, Салхат Турлана, с темой инновационного проекта, о котором она расскажет прямо сейчас. Приветствую. Thank you, my dear colleagues. Uh, one more time I'm going to show you one of my projects uh, to use uh, in your future science lesson. Uh, as you know, I'm an experienced teacher and I have a lot of things to show, but uh, today I'm going to show this project because I think this is the most important thing. Um, our project is called Innovative Project, Learning Science Through Infographics. So in my project, there are three members. Uh, please, will you stand up? Kadirova uh, Samal. She's an English teacher uh, and also she's a parent of my third A grade because this project is focused on three, third A grade. So we are going uh, to experiment in this uh, class. And then Abu Hasla Niram Gulapai. Abu Hasla Niram Gulapai. Uh, she's a primary teacher. She's also in my uh, the one of the member of our team. So uh, we started this project together, and it's this project is not finished. Uh, we will finish in the future, but we just started with these three teachers because she leads in a third A grade, and she's a parent, and I'm the subject teacher. So uh, you can see. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, just now I will need your help, teachers. Uh, as you know, my name is Hasyanova Saldanat. One more time, if you have new comers, I'm a certified teacher of by Singapore, uh, Singapore program, uh, math, English, and science. Uh, what about introduction? So, where when we have a project, so we have the first uh, learning science term. Uh, I can see what, what is ah the novelty of the project. Yeah? The novelty of the project is learning science terms in a purposeful and a fun way by creating and designing their own t-shirt. Uh, because when the kids uh, use something that they have created by themselves, it makes more uh, safe for them to use it. And the research questions are, how designing own t-shirt can increase the interest of using scientific terms in their classes? And second question, how to make handmade t-shirt. Yani ayta kitet bolsak biz bugün özümüzden futbolkamızda design jasap şaramız. Yani ona biz şanağı hazır getangda oncet mangtratın prinsipi jasamayız. Hazır biz niye sizlerge sonun onay zorun kursitem. Yani diye bol jerde brjağnan ekolojial problemlerde kopyamız yetkene recycling bilemiz o. Hazır jahan jahandan jahandır problemi recycling. Бұл оқушыларға бір жағынан функционал сауаттылығын ақтыруға көмектеседі, және де көне қалған заттарына жаңадан өмір беру. Яғни, recycling design. The hypothesis of the research, can designing on t-shirt increase a rate of using science terms among students? Және де осы жасаған біздің, өзіміздің шарған дизайнымызбен жасалған футболкамыз, Кошларга, лай, асир, береда. Не вот это не реда, без дня края. Будьте на близ, сидер, не на коллега Ларга, береда, без дня, у Кошларга, у вас глами, кельде, нема, жа, холдан, стабу, магас, не на безбрию, не сутем, дика, что не пьют, не везде, у Кошлар, не на умтуха, уже дада, сондахтан, был термин, не на холдан, стабу, сидер, жени, тихана, мити, хабрагас, не на месте, и не дети холдан, уже с ним везде. So the, mo uh, the same of my project is infographic. Have you ever heard about infographic? Is it in your infographic at all? Uh huh. So is it in your infographic? But I don't know. The name is the genre. Uh, infographic is a collection of imagery that is visualization like a chart and bar graphs. And minimal text that gives an easy to understand the topic. Yarni Bujadia Bajana, the graphic as the Arhola, Suritir Arhola, minimalism mean, Wokoshara, Sutu get up Sharams. That was not infographic, but I can. So, uh, as you can see here, one of my students is drawing on a paper based t shirt. Yarni Bajana was rather than the comments. 
тишет тазалмайм перлон дезона брече дизайнан агас прендеша сапшарам paper based. Here I use it in English lesson. So uh, students write about himself, about himself. Ягни бул мин туралы диген тишет чатазатер на сажерде уз туралы бирлген тапсрам нилер бойча сурахтар бойча жалт биржатер мен агатам ас астан мен сегиздема мен шинчи клас окуйман мен кузгоштарам мен спортам диген сиакта. So you can see there's a picture of uh, another person. But at the end, we created and designed our own T-shirt in a real T-shirt. We printed it in a real T-shirt. Can you see? Mm -hmm. So today we are going to do like this, but in a science lesson. It was in an English lesson, so we will try to do it in a science. The next class survey. problema. <laughs> Проблема. Проблем. Бұл проблемаға біз қалай келдік. Яғни бізде оқушылардың жанағы оқушылардың қалай нені пайдалану керекенін сөздерді, е? Немі ә, біліп жүру керекен білгіміз келді, және оған қалай көмек бере аламыз деп ойладым. And then we did some class surveys. As you can see, there are, we ask it, what do you do in your free time? Or what do you like doing in your free time? And here you can see suggested answers. For example, listen to music. Yeah, some students like listening to music, of course. Uh, read books. Unfortunately, not so many students like reading books. Watch TV. Uh, the less students watch TV, surf the internet. You can see a lot of students like playing on a computer or maybe playing on their own phone. But most of them, это нас шокировало, девайца хлад. Бізді бұл өте қызықтырғаны, дро. Яғни, оқушылар сурет салғанды, крафтинг деп айтамыз ғой, қазіргі таңда, ә, пластилинмен, қолмен ұстап, жасағанды, яғни, ә, өнерге жақын екен. Сондықтан, ә, нәжерге көріп тұр, ау, бұл қазір айтам. Сондықтан, біз осы өнер жолын таңдадық, яғни, осы өнер жолын біз инфографикаға салдық, инфографикаға. Ә, after using, after using this strategy, you can see the results of the students. There are the answers, yes, no, not sure, no. Is it difficult for you to learn science terms? You see, all students say it's just difficult, yes. And how do you like the idea of learning science through art? And you can see most of the students say that it's a cool idea, but, you know, we have some students who doesn't like drawing or crafting. And someone says, I like robots. Но роботтармен енді келесте шығарамыз, пока өнермен. Have you ever tried to design your own t-shirt? And so, oh, I think two students said yes. Uh, but a lot of students say no. And does handmade t-shirt give you a motivation in learning science terms? After that, uh, біз жаса барлығын болған анген осы сұрақ қойдық. Сізге енді осы мотивация берді ма? Я, мен қарамда айта берем сізге. Индиго мама папа мы туда едем где до кибрюга, то он дахара санзар я держал перен сана хлопку хушлар. Do you want to use the continuously for learning science terms? Я не был на ар харай, баста сабах кармен сал мен без дан команды да мирам кул ярмахану навар укс узмен сабах кармен да пензернде усла кулданса я не бир класса без бирнище усундай футболка шхарала. Бала биркунди Science and the Kilsikilisugunamazan, So you can see the practical part of my uh, work. And by the way, today we are going to talk about the organ systems. Organ systems is a very difficult uh, thing for my students because you have to start all the organs digestive system, large intestine, small intestine, or something like that. So, first of all, we did the paper based, you see? After paper based, we print it in a, on a real T-shirt. So let's experiment. Let's start. Are you ready? Okay. So uh, let's do uh, yourself like a third grade student. Firstly, we need to play door. Do you have play doors on your? Uh huh. You have play doors and you have books. Please open your book on the, from page I think two or five. Mm -hmm. This page. 
picture two. Mm -hmm. Ah, what? And just now, I'm going to give you. And <laughs> what's up? Yeah, just a minute. Just a minute. I'm explaining to you something. Else. Yeah, you have play doh. You have books with the organ systems, and you have to and on uh you have a paper. Each group has by one organ system. Yes, have you? Okay. So I uh, just now I'm going to deliver uh to divide you into organ systems. So uh you will by using the play doh you will make masculine system. Yes, masculine system. Uh. Uh, you will do digestive system, digestive. You will do skeletal system and maybe uh, respiratory system, respiratory. You will do circulatory system, circulatory. For doing this task, you have five minutes, five minutes. No, with a play doh you have to. <laughs> If you don't have the uh, correct color, you can ask for your neighbors. And don't forget, after finishing, you have to write the organ names, label them, okay? You have five minutes. You have digestive system. Oh, muscle system, yes. Skeletal system and respiration. Be quick because you have only uh, five minutes. You can do it. <laughs> it's okay. What is your heart? Oh. Okay, it's okay. Да, кропотливая работа вам попалась. Good. Надо было снимать, да? Интересно, вот здесь. circulatory system. Students, and don't forget to label. We don't have to write what is it. Ah, what's it? Do you have heart and blood vessels? Abazначit it. Wow. Creativeness has come. Oh, uh, If you have finished it, you can go to uh, this uh, board and stick it on a board. Wow. Great. You are not third graders, by the way. Good. Это ваши вены, девочки. Штаб Саламас, Хантам Рлар. Так. 
So the group number one has finished it. Uh, and this is uh, our digestive system. Okay. Maybe we will ex you will explain? So what system is it? Uh, system is it? It is the digestive system. Mm -hmm. uh, digestive system starts with the most displacement. Uh, we have the tongue. The food. After the uh, gallon, left, and esophagus. After it goes to the stomach. Uh -huh. In this place, then it happens the time of the absorption of the food. Uh, then it goes to the small intestine and uh, large intestine. And uh, uh, which the food that couldn't waste uh, uh, materials absorbed into the food uh, go out from the animal. Yes, right, you are. Thank you. Now, who, who has finished it? Groups, please. You are welcome. Muscular system, respiratory system, respiratory. Finish it and stick it here. Okay, this is some of the yes. System. So we were given respiratory system, which is made up of uh, pipe, lungs, uh, and uh, what else? Was no, you have it's pipe, mm -hmm. lungs. lungs, and that's, that's enough. So the, you have to label the main it. label, you haven't labeled it yet. Okay, oh, yes, we didn't get the point. Okay, so, uh, what does respiratory system do? It uh, takes and removes air from out of our body. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, anything and else? Air into our body and, and removes and removes, right? Say, like my student. <laughs> Next, which organ is ready? Uh, have you learned? Oh, okay. Uh, so our system is uh, muscular system. Uh, muscular system contains. It's made up. It's made up of muscles. Mm -hmm. There can be different types of muscles, but all of them are muscles. For example. These are core muscles, quadriceps, like that. Uh, All of them are muscles. Okay. I have one more question for you. Why do we need muscles? How do you think? Uh, we need muscles to move, uh, to lift things, to run, to make, to to move. Okay. Great answer. Mr. Sagadat is one of our <laughs> Singapore education teacher, but, but from math. And just, it was a tricky question for him. So, next, please, our guest. So this is circulatory system. Here we have it consists uh, heart, uh, blood, and vessels. Uh, so actually, a circulatory system helps to carry it digested food to our body and also waste uh, like. I can reseal as waste materials uh, to throw away or of our body. So it removes waste materials from our body. Okay, good job. But you forgot to label it. It's okay. Thank you. Next and the last skeletal system. Please. Skeletal is system is very, very yeah, colorful. But our skeletons is not so colorful, you know. It's our skeletal system. In skeleton systems, uh, have uh, has six, uh, 206 bones, yeah. and uh, this is rib. Uh, this uh, uh, it is rib. It is skull. It is uh, joints, mm -hmm. and uh, this uh, ah, yeah. big bone, big, big bone. bone. Yes. Okay, I have a question, uh, Sarapai, for you. Uh, you said that uh, people have three, 206 bones. What about baby? 
How many bones people a baby has? has? Yeah, it was a tricky question, sorry. <laughs> Logically, also baby has 206 bones. An adult and baby has the same amount of bones. Thank you, thank you. Ол тек өседі сүйек. Яғни адам денесінде, адам туылғанда 206 сүйекпен туылады кен. Бізде мұнандай сұрақ берген үшінші класта. Ал кішкентай балада қанша сүйек туылады. Сонда балдар айта бастат аны. Или көп айты, или кем айты негізінде, екі өнде да бірдей балада да үлкенде да сүйек тек өскен сайын ол сүйек тен істейді, өседі ұзарады. Окей. So, in this phase, the first step is passive. We uh, use it crafting. So uh, we use it crafting and did it on a paper basis. Then we go to the next stage. We are going to print these pictures on a t-shirt. Um, because of the seminar, I have printed everything by myself. Just now we need such kind of uh, t-shirts. Sorry, sorry. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And we will give you and we will give you uh, printed pictures in advance because uh, uh, beforehand I uh, printed it. The muscles. Mm -hmm. Так, digestive system. Digestive. You are digestive system, right? Uh -huh. Digestive system is here. Um, and and skeletal system and skeletal system so you have the printed pictures you have a t-shirt and to make our handmade t-shirt we need only cling film cling film at a fishivaya plonka fishivaya plonka and parchment paper Пергаментная бумага. And also we need the iron. We check. So just now you have a picture. Please uh, cut your picture. Uh, not every uh, every part. You can just like cut like this, okay? And you have to wrap your picture with the plain film. Uh, you can wrap only once, okay? Don't try two times, three times, only once. Okay, start. I know what it calls.
Все, закончили? Выключайтесь. Получилось? Thank you. Есть новенький ученик, который, в принципе, вообще не знал английского языка, но благодаря вот этим домашним заданиям он смог чувствовать себя увереннее на уроках, потому что он настолько все вызубрил, настолько все отточил, и на уроке прям сидел довольный, что он может что-то ответить.
Спасибо большое, Султан Сулана, было очень интересно. А, как обычно, пожалуйста, записываем наш фидбэк, нашу обратную связь на наши спикеры, а, клеим на нашу стоянку спикеров, и после этого можем идти на обед, возвращаться.